Welcome back. Your time now is 613 this I was about to say Monday morning, but alas, it is Friday. Mike Apple, good morning. We celebrate. How are you? <laughs> Let's not fast forward things that much, shall we? Good morning. How are oh, you? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm doing well. I'm doing you well. We were just comparing. I just you lose you lose track of time under these circumstances, I think. I don't know where I am, what's going on, but no, I know a lot of people are looking forward to the Friday, even though it does feel yes. different. We've got a lot of numbers rolling on in today, yep. including a jobs report. That's right. We'll get the March unemployment statistics, which should be actually pretty good from a job uh, job number regaining. Uh, 75,000 is the forecast. February saw 259,000. We're still below the pre-pandemic levels. And the big question, Melanie, is now, OK, we're back into lockdown here. What does this mean for the springtime hiring season? Is that taking place? Has everything been put on hold? So each and every month we see these swings in the jobs market. Uh, the stock markets have been doing really well. In fact, the Toronto Stock Exchange is one of the top performers globally so far this year. The TSX has hit five records in a row. It's up year to date by 10 percent in the top performers. Bank stocks, yeah, they've been they've been on a, uh, a tear here to the upside. And uh, of note in the banks, the RBC and the TD both giving staff an extra paid day off this year because they're saying that the employees are stressed out and need a, a mental health break. And uh, uh, so the TD and the RBC leading the way in that. Wow, that is interesting for sure. Uh, mm -hmm. As we look at these uh, pandemic trends, one of the key indicators that we are on a route to recovery is looking at what the airlines are doing. Mm -hmm. And Southwest is uh, making a move here. And again, it shows it shows the difference between uh, the Canadian and U.S. Uh, air carriers right now. Southwest says it is recalling 3,000 uh, staffers, flight crew, cabin crew, because they are seeing advanced bookings for the summer uh, moving up very quickly. Americans are traveling. You know, that, that the, the data on a daily basis uh, for the number of Americans uh, going through airports uh, bears that out, and all of the U.S. airlines are uh, ramping things up for the summertime. Ours are still uh, basically stuck and, and waiting maybe for some federal government assistance in the upcoming budget. Hmm. All right. Also, another trend we're watching, a lot of people taking to home renos. Um, you know, mm -hmm. your home, you're looking at what's going on here, what I can change, and some people saving some money as well. But yep. you're going to need to dish out a little bit of extra if you're doing it. That's right. We have seen, what, lumber prices go up exponentially and all sorts of other uh, building materials. And good luck finding a contractor because they're extremely busy right now. And then you've got to deal with COVID uh, restrictions, which slows things down that much more. But uh, Scotiabank survey says that 60 percent of homeowners in this country are planning some sort of a renovation project over the next two years. Uh, they're probably financing this through HELOCs, home equity lines of credit, because properties have gone up in value kitchens and bathrooms that's where you get your money back and that's you know those are the the two leading candidates but of note um backyard upgrades pool installations saunas spas anything to be outdoors because it's you know that, that was kind of the trend last year right if you could go out you, you stayed in your backyard if you had the wherewithal to do so and uh, those are going to see some major upgrades this summer Absolutely. We're actually in the middle of that. We're, we're planning on redoing the whole backyard and it's taken some time for approvals and contractors. All of what yeah. you just said, uh, live in it, live in it right now. But I'm going to give a <laughs> shout out to my husband. OK, I don't think he's awake. He did this himself. This this paneling. Really? Nice. It's, it's actually like a stick. -a, it's a stick on thing. Like it's not even. OK. Yeah. Like it, it's literally like and it stays. I don't know. What do we think? Well, that, uh, it's awesome, actually. It looks you, you've got uh, rate, you know, the, the rate my Skype room uh, uh, Twitter feed yeah. would probably give you 10 out of 10. <laughs> Come on, Room Raider. Give it to me. Room All Raider, right? that's it. Mike, yes. have yourself a great weekend. Room Raider. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Bye. Okay, 617 is what we're sitting at right now. And coming up next here on BT, here's the question. If it was easier to access vaccines, would it make more people get them? Coming up after the break, more on the pop-up vaccination clinics that are opening up in COVID-19 hotspots.